Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to start a short two-part series about confidence booster fragrances. And uh, I'm going to divide it into two parts. Today's video is going to be all about confidence boosters in our everyday life. You know, fragrances that make you feel unstoppable, that make you feel confident, that make you feel capable of achieving anything and everything. And then part two, which will come out next, will be about um, confidence boosting fragrances at work. Fragrances basically that make you feel like a boss. But more about that in that next video. Today, let's talk about everyday confidence boosters. First fragrance that I have chosen is La Belle Le Parfum Intense from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Just the bottle itself exudes confidence in my mind. This fragrance is relatively simple, at least <laughs> based on the notes listed on Fragrantica. There is uh, pear, tonka, and vanilla. And this fragrance definitely has a very prominent tonka note. It gives it a bit of chocolate vibe. It is definitely sweet. So vanilla is, of course, here. And although pear is listed, uh, I'm not getting very strong pear note. Instead, I am getting uh, a mix of red berries. So it's kind of red berries mixed with tonka and vanilla. So a little bit chocolatey, a little bit sweet. This is definitely powerful. This is definitely a statement maker and it definitely makes me feel confident every time that I wear it. Another fragrance that makes me feel absolutely capable of achieving any goal that I set for myself is Black Phantom by Killian. There's something about this fragrance that makes me feel extremely powerful. Now, this is a gourmand. This is a very strong, thick Gourmand, it has dark chocolate, it has caramel, rum, coffee, sugarcane, almond, sandalwood, heliotrope. And really, all of these notes are present here. It has chocolate, it is slightly boozy, although rum is not very strong in here. Um, almond, heliotrope, sandalwood all create this amazing creaminess. This, this fragrance is almost gooey, I would say. It is definitely very, very thick and dense. And it is sweet, it is almondy, it is chocolatey, it is slightly boozy. It's incredible. I know it's a polarizing scent. Some really love it and some really hate it. I happen to fall in the category of people loving Black Phantom. Next fragrance on my list is Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain. Um, this is an amazing vanilla, truly amazing vanilla. Some of the main notes in here are incense, uh, there's bergamot, there's some floral notes, there's vanilla, benzoin, and overall it's uh, woody, smoky, a little bit boozy vanilla, but in a very understated and sophisticated and grown up way. There is something very grown up about this fragrance and it just makes me feel powerful and confident. Like I can get anything done when I'm wearing this. I really feel like I'm a real grown up, which you know, sometimes I really don't feel like a grown up, but this one does make me feel like a grown-up, like I am a responsible adult and whatever um, needs to be done, I am going to get it done. So Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain is an amazing, amazing vanilla scent. Next fragrance on my list is makes me feel completely unstoppable, completely unstoppable, like no matter what the challenge is, doesn't matter, I will get it done. This is a powerhouse of a fragrance, Porpora from Tiziana Terenzi. This is a powerhouse of a rose scent. This is not your everyday rose scent. This is not a shy rose. This is not a timid rose. This is not an understated rose. 
this is a statement rose it has patchouli it has incense it has raspberry there is myrrh uh there is musk there is benzene there are a lot of other notes and this is definitely resinous this is definitely earthy this is almost slightly gothic in my mind it is deep it is not a sweet rose there is something very mysterious about this rose overall it's a statement maker so you really i think have to be confident to wear this scent i don't think everyone can pull it off and you know i am not always in the mood to wear this i really have to be in the right state of mind to wear this scent but it definitely adds the confidence to to get anything done so again porpora from tiziana terenzi next on my list is a fragrance from initio and this is psychedelic love this fragrance has heliotrope, hedion, rose, myrrh, sandalwood, bergamot, ylang ylang, possibly something else. And this scent to me is mostly about, um, about almond, really. I don't think almond is listed as the main note. There's heliotrope, which kind of gives a slightly similar vibe. But to me, this fragrance is about almond very creamy very resinous type of almond it is a little bit sweet not too sweet it's it's very pungent it's very thick uh it's a statement maker fragrance um it is a creamy like i said it has very almondy maybe slightly slightly powdery uh touch really really beautiful kind of unusual um this is not again this is not your everyday type of almond this is a special type of almond a statement maker uh in my books and again i don't know if the almond is actually in here the notes that i have listed in front of me don't include almond but to me um i get almond vibe uh, very very strongly in this fragrance so this is psychedelic love from initio Next fragrance that makes me feel confident is Dancing Roses from Victor and Rolf. This is a fragrance that combines so beautifully two of my favorite notes, the note of rose and the note of sour cherry. And the combination of the two just creates magic, at least to my nose. There is also brandy in here there's also saffron there's pink pepper thankfully saffron doesn't come through to me at all because that's not one of my favorite notes mostly i get this amazing sour cherry and rose and a touch of booze i think lychee might be in here as well because there is a bit of that fruitiness that i think is not just coming from sour cherry uh such an unusual fragrance um well, to me, I don't know if everyone would consider it unusual, but to me, there is something a little bit unusual about it because of that sourness and rose. Um, it's just special. And again, this is a fragrance that always makes me feel confident when I wear it. Next one on the list is a fragrance that could be considered by some masculine in fact if you asked me probably a year or two ago i would have considered it masculine as well but i think now i'm totally capable of wearing this scent and the fact that it is a bit more on the masculine side makes me feel more confident makes me feel more powerful makes me feel more capable of accomplishing anything the fragrance i'm talking about is naxos from uh, surge off this fragrance is uh very aromatic in the opening it has lavender which is definitely present there which also gives off kind of a slightly minty vibe to me 
and then in a dry down the two big players are coming out which is honey and tobacco and mixing beautifully together and kind of sanding lavender very much uh, to the background and it becomes just so strong and sweet and smoky and just amazing and definitely this is a very strong scent again i don't think every woman can pull off this scent some will think this is masculine some will think that this is not for them that this is overpowering but for me right now it does the opposite when i wear it it makes me feel more powerful so this is naxos from Xerjoff. next confidence booster on my list is tom ford noir Pour femme. This is another really strong, beautiful scent. Overall, I would call this scent uh, a spicy vanilla. So vanilla is definitely here. A lot of spices are here. There are some citruses in here, sandalwood, uh, vanilla, of course, and uh, also the note of coffee, which is a very prominent note here. Um, this is Indian ice cream, Indian dessert. Uh, I never really tried it so i'm not exactly sure uh, what it tastes like or what it smells like but apparently that's that's what's in here this is strong this is powerful this is sweet this is spicy this is definitely a statement maker and in my books this is definitely a confidence booster and I have two more fragrances on my list. The next one is from Ely Saab Essence 10 Monday Tonka. This fragrance has Tonka, it has bitter orange, sandalwood, and amorous. And uh, to me, overall, it has sort of a bakery vibe, uh, like it's some kind of a chocolatey sweet pastry, but with a bit of oomph, with, with, with a bit of something special added to it. Like it's not your run-of-the-mill bakery smell. There is some kind of depth. There is something special added to it, which is why I put it on this list because it's not your average bakery scent. It is a little bit chocolatey. It is a little bit nutty. It is. It even has a bit of maybe bitterness to it but you know in the best possible way it is creamy it is smooth it is deep it is even a touch dark i would say and again it's a powerful fragrance and it makes me feel powerful that's why i included it and the very last one is a fragrance that maybe will surprise you i think it's kind of an uh, a possible slight outsider to this group but uh, i will explain to you why i included it on this list this is boys from killian so the full name is bad boys are no good but good boys are no fun now this scent is about coca-cola mostly there's actually a note of coca-cola in here there's lime cinnamon nutmeg apple cedar and amber wood and again it's a scent that maybe some might consider masculine to me it is not masculine at all it is completely completely unisex but it is again a kind of unusual because it has that uh prominent note of coca-cola you know not everyone would want to smell like a cold glass of coke which is which is what it smells like it's a cold glass of coke with me maybe some uh lime added in it added in that's exactly what it smells like and i absolutely love it in the summer it is so refreshing it is so zinging it is so bright it is it just quenches your thirst really I, it's it's beautiful in the summer and i think it's that element of being slightly unusual and smelling like um coca-cola that uh, makes me feel strong and makes me feel confident and makes me feel powerful like i don't care if i smell slightly strange i love the smell and i can pull it off and i can wear it and that's why i included it on this list so that's the end of my list of fragrances that make me feel confident, powerful, unstoppable, capable of achieving 
anything. Would love to know what fragrances in your collection make you feel like this. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and definitely stay tuned for part two of this little series. Bye.